Hi Scorpio, Siberia from Cats and Cars. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, and North Node. Scorpio, please click like, subscribe to further connect with me. I will leave everything you need to know in the description box. So the Justice card is the only card that flips over. Scorpio, you're getting some type of justice or you're dealing with a Libra over the next week. Over the last nine or ten weeks, I see you kind of like, maybe there were misalignments, mishaps, or there were like daggers thrown at you. The world card is here. There's something significant. I cannot talk with the internet. I see here with this Ace of Wands in reverse, it's like, all you have to do is tap in to get what you want. You're getting exactly what you want. It's like, but you're so over something. It's like, you're not seeing it right in front of you. It's like, Scorpio, you, you may want more and more, or you're dealing with, um, there could be someone here dealing with sexual issues, Scorpio. You have Leo energy attached to this, um, Taurus energy, Libra energy attached to this. Let's get out some um, Moreau deck. These are my new kippers. I'm going to call them the third eye deck. Scorpio, feeling deeply. Embrace your feelings and allow to feel them fully. Love is entering your life. So opening up your heart, you are getting what you want because you're using your heart chakra. Somebody could have heart issues here. I'm getting like ventricular or high blood pressure. Helpful change. You will navigate through change successfully by allowing the universe to assist you when you need it most. As you, you saw earlier that person had their arms folded and crossed Scorpio. It's like, no, I don't want that. I don't want it that way. No, you're getting it because it's coming out in different ways, different ways than what you expected. Creative forces. Your creativity is endless. The creative power you hold within is far greater than you realize, Scorpio. So you have paint, you have a butterfly, and you have a heart. Those are pretty interesting. So it's like you have a canvas. You have the opportunity to create. There's an invitation here. Butterfly is transformation. There's also heart chakra. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. Or green is a significant color for you, Scorpio. 222 on the clock. There's alignments coming in. Judication flips over. Over. The 30th of this month is significant or somebody could be going to court within the next three months. This is also the law of attraction to me. So watch what kind of energy you're exuding at this time, Scorpio, because you're definitely getting it back. Somebody may be having like somebody may be wasting time arguing, thinking they're higher than you talking shit about like that. Look, look, because they got the receipts too, Scorpio. Look at that on that bullshit. It could be a feminine that's wasting time. Yeah. Um, somebody could be wasting time venting or um, it's like kind of disturbing to your peace or your soul here because you're actually a really sweet person. Um, there could be a lot of people coming towards you at this time wanting to vent. Scorpio, I see you showing up as Scorpio energy and it's like you're blatantly trying to ignore some type of transformation or some type of obsession here. Um, there's insecurity falling out within your next 48 hours, but also with this insecure energy, there's blessings things and there's manifestations. Blue is heavy in your spread right now, Scorpio. There's good luck coming in the next 48 hours. As long as you're attracting and exuding good karma, your good luck is coming in. So this card wants to scoot on top of this. I feel like here somebody's faking it until they make it. I'm getting something in the intestinal or something possibly with a head injury or a face injury here. Uh, but there's Pisces energy showing up. There's a lot of sexual energy that's not being channeled here in the proper way. Because it's like, look, it's like this person's like, oh my, what do I do? And then you end up with this unchanneled sacral energy. Right now, Libra energy is showing up as balance, art, beauty, love, and opportunity. Um, this fake ass shit, you need to be unbothered by it. I feel like you see through uh, the veil and the 3D Scorpio because you're much more deep than what people expect. Because look at this intense energy, this activation. Somebody could work with electricity, batteries, or somebody is like in some type of new type of therapy. Give me more here for the next 48 for Scorpio. Funeral card, putting something to rest. There's also, um, there could be endings going on here. Over the next 19 days, the, the prison card is in reverse. So I feel like whoever was in a state of mental entrapment or there was something risky or you felt attached to, there's been, um, there's been a stop put to it. 
and you're getting unexpected money and some type of pleasant letter over the next two to seven weeks somebody could be finding out some good news here give me more here for the next 48 yeah i'm i'm picking up Okay, there could be like in, intense situations. I'm also getting egos, so watch out for that at this time. There's rich man energy, and you've manifested this over the next three months. Give me, give me a couple more, Spirit. Yeah, thank you. The change card. So it's like somebody's afraid to change or they're afraid to move forward. But it's it's here it looks as though you're being made to do something, Scorpio, because this wreath is here. Also, these candles. It's like spirit is now saying, hey, you got to kind of move on from this. It's time to move to the next level because you're moving on to the rich man energy. Let's get out some um, fortune cards for you, dearie. Give me the next 48 for Scorpio. Lighthearted, carefree time is here. Someone working against you or behind your back. There's rat energy. But I feel like here, Spirit's going to put a stop to it. Because look, great happiness. Spirit knows what's truly going to make you happy. What's truly for you. Pleasure with a close friend. You could be hanging out with friends. The next 48 hours, Scorpio. Light, uh, Lighthearted, carefree time. Jug is here. Somebody could be having beers or something like that. News of a birth or business opportunity. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes at this time scorpio scorpio unicorn energy is single um dad energy if anybody's ever seen the show the unicorn news of a birth or opportunity there's a lot of bird there's a lot of animal totems here but mostly birds bird is like flighty energy too someone will gossip about all your secrets and someone is leaving your life um like i said there's being an end or an ending is being set for something. I feel like this is uh, transferring into the higher level of your soul groups. Give me the leaving your life card, please, Spirit. What is leaving Scorpio's life at this time? It could be a cancer. Somebody could be getting rid of a car. Or there is like, so you're letting go of certain family members or people. Because the Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. You th usually the Seven of Pentacles is generational wealth, planning for a future. I feel like you're looking towards your future. Because these two cards, Scorpio, are mirroring news of a birth or, or birth or business opportunity. And over the next, you have Seven Seven here. So Seven Seven is a lesson or teaching moment when it comes to wealth, when it comes to roots, when it comes to something small being made into something great. There's also a lesson or teaching moment with a vehicle. There's a lesson or teaching moment with water or manifestation. Give me what masculine needs to know at this time for Scorpio, please, spirit. The Knight of Swords. Okay, so you're going through some type of awakening. Somebody could be having gut issues or somebody's having mindset issues. Somebody could ride a motorcycle or somebody could um, be needing to get out in nature more. You definitely need more sunlight at this time. Crows could be significant masculine. There could be a feminine um, going Going through an awakening or releasing something here. This is astral projection. You could be dealing with a Leo, an Aquarius, a Sagittarius. I feel like you're feeling more confident to be outside. To like somebody could be hunting or fishing or shooting is what I'm picking up. The King of Pentacles. Somebody's enjoying their time at home masculine a lot. There is a dog that really, really loves you. The Six of Wands standing in your power more so people can see you. Kind of flexing at work a little bit if you can. The Nine of Cups. There's some type of emotional fulfillment that comes with your Zen space. Um, maybe your activation or alone time masculine. So that's important. Some realistic planning is coming in that you're going to need um, especially because there's an opportunity coming in over the next two to four months. There could be opportunity for traveling as long as you're doing um, the right thing as far as propagating your money, saving it. There's some type of necessary planning or interesting planning you're going to be doing. Give me feminine at this time for Scorpio. Justice is coming in for you, feminine Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Libra as well. I feel like you're kind of bored because it's coming in slowly. There could be two feminines here. I feel here, if you are a feminine Scorpio, you are being guided and protected from somebody trying to exact some type of energy on you. It could be a water or air sign. Queen of Pentacles, I feel here you're working on your money. Um, slow down on your spending at this time because I'm really seeing um, that energy of like as soon as you get it, you spend it. Give me more for feminine. The Emperor in Reverse, sticking to your schedule. Um... Somebody could be ignoring some type of signs here, um, signs needing to be healed, because I see you, Feminine Scorpio, going into some type of mental instability or out of the, of the pan into the fire, because it's like this person goes back, keeps backtracking to some type of past memory. It could be a masculine. You could be dealing with an Aries or another water sign. 
What does Scorpio need to know about career and finance at this time, Spirit? That's a lot of cards. So stop telling everybody your plans or somebody's talking too much or dreaming too much and not exacting that energy. Give me more for Scorpio career and finance. Ooh, it's happening over the next month. From the rest of this month on to Sagittarius energy, have a little bit of patience. Things are coming in. Somebody could be going through some type of healing energy right now in their sacral or their gut. You could have Pisces or Sagittarius placements or you're dealing with those signs. You don't have to be dealing with those signs, but this is the energy of being tapped in with spirit, healing parts of you that um, have been wounded. There's some type of child energy here that needs to be healed, especially with being kind to yourself, others, treating money how you want it to treat you. I see somebody's very resilient, especially when it comes to like um, communication, but there's some type of it's like you don't want to let go of something because you're scared to move forward and they're waiting for you. Like the spirits are waiting for you. Your your life is waiting for you. Give me more on career. The Ace of Cups is here, but it's coming out sideways. See, you're getting something exactly what you want here in the future. It hasn't happened yet because there's this offer coming in. The Knight of Cups is here. The Knight of Cups um, gives me Pisces and Cancer energy. The Ace of Cups, you, this is heavy manifesting and water energy. Keep continuing to cleanse your auric field because I see a distorted negative feminine energy here. Get plenty of rest. Try to not be in a state of anxiety at this time. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And be passionate about following through with something, especially when it comes to healing because Saturn energy is here. Um, somebody could be feeling sexual or something on Saturday, but it's like there is some type of... There's some type of commitment that you have, some type of vision that you need to hold. Um, it's about channeling your sacral chakra as well, because there's a new beginning mirroring all this. It's just somebody could be extremely codependent when it comes to like needing to follow through on their plan or not spending too much money or something here. Give me the person on Scorpio's mind. What does the person on Scorpio's mind want to say, please, spirit? Yeah, thank you. Okay, they're impatient with you. Um, they're restless. Um, the reason why they can't sleep is because they're astral projecting or um, spiritually they're being woke up. Something's bothering them. You can see this right here. Um, they could be a divinator of some sort. They could be a cook. They could also be, um, they're very magical. The Queen of Wands is here. They could be receiving some type of offer by Sagittarius season. Give me more for the person on um, Scorpio's mind. What do they want to say? The person on Scorpio's mind. The Three of Swords in reverse. They're trying to get over some type of heartbreak to um, come into the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, what about Scorpios that want to reconcile? You could be dealing with Taurus, a Libra, and Aquarius. Um, somebody does have fond memories of you, but it's like they, they sometimes lose hope or they can't hold that vision because at night it's like they transform into a gargoyle or they have this type of overthinking. It's like they've been put on this wheel and they, they're trying to get out of this heartbreak. There's a lot of things going on in their life. I see pumpkins. I see skulls here, skeletons in their closet. I see rats, psychic energy. Give me a few more for the person on Scorpio's mind, please. They're trying to be, um, they're trying to be more emotionally balanced because you see these, um, swords here. Here. Yeah, yeah, I feel like they're not showing their hand right now, but they are guided. They're they're trying to forgive. They're trying to be guided to make decisions to move towards you. Give me um, new love for Scorpio, please. Give me new love. Um, the two of pentacles, balancing out your money and emotions. I feel like somebody could be coming in here the next two months. It could be an earth sign. Definitely an earth sign because you have the queen of pentacles. But I see here, Scorpio, this is alignments with your money as well. Look how this person is sitting on their throne. They're balancing things out. Pumpkin energy. Somebody needs to get more orange, yellow fruits and vegetables. The ten of swords here is like you were off in the deep end. Somebody really does want some time alone. Or it's like they're trying to dig deep into the necessary void of the recesses of their mind and their solar plexus to heal. There's really fiery energy here. You could have heavy fire placements. Scorpio. Please like, subscribe, and remember I'm available for personal read. Check the description box. Thanks, Collective.